So, that's enough out of that. Anyway, uh, today all I've seen was WWE Network videos because it went live today. And I wanted to get my thoughts on it just because when they announced it at CES in the press conference, and I uh, watched that press conference and they showed what they had on it, before they announced the price, I was already sold just to have something 24-7 streaming plus all this content for $10. I was like, that's awesome. I always wanted to something where you can just put it on and you don't have to get up to change the disc out. Uh, and it's just 24-7 and it's on your TV because all I use my TV now uh, is like for background noise pretty much but to have it wrestling is awesome and I wasn't planning on getting it the first day I wanted it at least by Thursday uh, for the NXT thing uh, but after I used it uh, I was it was awesome it, I was blown away by uh, like what they like how they have it set up and everything and uh, the first thing I watched, which, comment down below what was the first thing you watched, because the first thing I watched was literally 10 minutes after I uh, bought it, I went to a restaurant and I was uh, watching the live, um, the live feed and it was WrestleMania 1, and uh, that was fun to watch, and uh, eat a burger while watching WrestleMania 1, can't get better than that, but uh, basically, when I, you know, heard about this, my plan was to get rid of my cable box and uh, you know not have cable in my room at all uh, yeah I'd be missing White Sox games yeah I'd be missing Jayhawks games uh, which is the reason why I'm not playing it on my PS3 right now the network because there's a Jayhawk game in a few minutes you can't you know you can't miss that for the WWE Network I mean come on but uh, yeah so my plan is in a few months to get rid of my cable box even in like the next week get rid of my cable box save some money and uh, just stick with the WWE Network because literally I have it on my phone, I have it on my iPad, and I have it on my PS3, and then my computer also. So, I mean, I'm set. Um, now, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to still collect DVDs because, I mean, honestly, people are going to get rid of them because everything's on the network. They're going to, you know, want to sell them, and they're going to go for cheap. You can get WrestleMania 17 without having to get two jobs. So, I mean, it, it's pretty good because you can still collect DVDs, yet you still have all this content. And I was one of those people when they announced the network where it was like, yes, everything's on the network, but uh, like Stevie Breach would say, you want to, you know, you want to, where's, where, look at this, you want to, you want to have this, well, maybe not Randy Orton, but you want to actually have and, you know, hold the DVD, why do I even have Randy Orton, that was a good DVD though, but anyway, you want to actually have it and have it in your collection, and that's, uh, I was one of those people that, you know, I'm still going to collect DVDs, even though I have it all, you know, on my iPad. And uh, another good thing about this is the fact that before, if you wanted to watch, you know, a show on Skype or something, you would have to make sure the person has the DVD, start at the same time, and, you know, now it's pretty much, uh, you don't even have to ask if they have that show. You could just be like, hey, let's watch this one, Money in the Bank 2011, that happens to be right there. Let's watch that, because that was the greatest show ever. Well, not ever, but, you know what I mean? Uh, you don't have to make sure someone has a DVD if you want to watch it together. And uh, overall, the network's awesome. So if you don't have it, you should get it. And that's it. So uh, comment down below what was the first show that you watched. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Put in the shades again. Turn the hat back. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. I don't know how Justin does it, but peace.